This is red meat. Red meat will kill you because red meat is evolutionarily novel. Red meat is not something that human beings are adapted for. This goes counter to the wisdom that we were taught at school, that, you know, the, the um, standard wisdom, because we were told that human beings lived in caves and hunted red meat animals and that we should be evolved for eating red meat. That's simply not the case. Recent evidence has pointed to the fact that human beings had a bottleneck in their population of not more than 600 couples about 170,000 years ago. And in Africa, the glacial period caused the whole of the African continent to become extremely dry and arid and meant human beings had to retreat to the coastline. We know that from 170,000 years ago with absolute certainty. We know there was a bottleneck of only 600 couples and we know that they lived in this area here and this is because they left their garbage here. This is a kitchen midden. All their trash from 170,000 years ago until really recent times just piled up, piled up, piled up. So these are kitchen middens here. We can find stone tools, mostly shells, remnants of their fire, fecal matter, fibers from plants that they gathered, gathered. So we know that they lived on this, this area here and that they ate mostly shellfish and fish. And that's from 170,000 years on. Probably before that as well, we just don't have any evidence for that, but we know from 170,000 years to about 60,000 years for the breakout of Africa for the rest of the populations at, out of Africa. And right up to the recent day, people were living on the coastline. There's only a recent event due to population pressures that people really moved inland and started eating red meat. So we see here in Canada, this, this is 10,000 years of piled up shells. 10,000 years from about 10,000 years ago to about 1500 just a pile of shells we can find stone tools and other things in these shells so we know that human beings caused this deposit of shell shells and shellfish here uh, another mid in here interspersed amongst this these are stone tools human fecal matter fibers and so forth so these are definitely human being or created by human beings, these huge piles of shells. This is the evidence that we have. Uh, the issue with finding middens and why we haven't found more middens and why the confusion arose, we thought that human beings lived inland is because during glacial periods, the level of the ocean was much lower. That means these kitchen middens prior to 10,000 years are now underwater. So we can't find these kitchen middens, but there must be enormous kitchen middens under the water here from the arrival of the first human beings. So with, in the case of Canada, we've lost 5,000 years of kitchen middens because it's there under the water here. We only have the last 10,000 years in places uh, like Europe and uh, India and so forth, where people have been living for at least 60, 70,000 years. All of the kitchen middens are now underwater. So this is another example of a kitchen midden here you can just see huge piles of, of shellfish and every so often a stone tool is found so we know that this is definitely created by human beings so what does this mean for the human being human beings in the digestive tract it means that symbiotic bacteria that live in our digestive tract that evolved with us and that help us absorb the nutrients from our food evolved with us while we were eating the this shellfish and these uh, proteins that we get from the ocean that eating this red meat is an evolutionarily novel situation that means that the bacteria that survive in guts that eat this red meat bacteria are going to be the bacteria from other animals not the bacteria that we evolved to survive with so if you're eating red meat which has high myoglobin, the, pro the red protein in here is myoglobin, you change the intestinal flora, you change the bacteria that live symbiotically in your gut with you, and this, the bacteria that aids the digestion and helps with the absorption of nutrients becomes very, very different, changes the lipid profile absorption, affects your cholesterol, and uh, causes many kinds of cancer because of the lack of uh, absorption of minerals in the correct quantities because we're not using the symbiotic bacteria that evolved with us. So if you eat these kind of things, you're going to end up with a bacteria in your gut similar to a cat or a dog. And this is an evolutionarily novel thing. If we had evolved eating red meat, that would be fine. But we did not. We evolved eating shellfish. So if you have a high level of myoglobin, a high level of nitrates, and uh, red meat in your gut, the bacteria that will be living in there 
is not human bacteria. It is a bacteria that symbiotically evolved with other animals and does not suit our situation. Our body is maladapted to that kind of bacteria living in our gut and you will have health issues.